Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another haul that I wanted to share with you. So let's go. So the first things that I wanted to show you today are some continuations of series that I am currently collecting. So to start, I have Yona of the Dawn, volumes 13, 14, and 15. I am still really behind with this series, but I really, really enjoy it. So I'm going to continue picking it up until I catch up and hopefully I catch up before it's completely finished. Next, I have Love Me, Love Me Not, volumes six and seven. This is another one that's a fairly new series. Um, I really enjoy this series. It's my first Iosaki Saka series that I've read. I have heard that it's her best work, but I think that's all a matter of opinion. Either way, I really, really enjoy this series and I want to continue collecting it until it's complete. The next I have is King's Beast or The King's Beast by Rei Toma Volume 2. I am so excited for this. This is literally why I just barely got this haul because I was waiting on this to be released. But Rei Toma has beautiful art and beautiful stories and I'm really loving this series. I can't wait for more of it. So this next set of manga is a continuation of sorts. Um, this is Vampire Night Memories. I have volumes two, three, four, and five. Vampire Night is very much a nostalgic thing for me. I collected Vampire Night a long time ago, really enjoyed it, ended up selling it all and then recollecting it all. And now I am picking up Vampire Night Memories. I still need to get volume one because it's always out of stock where I'm at, but I will eventually get that and then continue on with this series. After that, I have Queen's Quality. This is the sequel to QQ Sweeper. I love this artist. I love this mangaka. I love her stories. I love her art. They are just absolutely stunning. I'm super behind with this series, but I don't care. I'm going to collect it all anyways. I do enjoy her other series, but I feel like QQ Sweeper and Queen's Quality are by far her best series, so. Next, I have a volume of manga that I've just been wanting to try out. It really gives me Trinity blood and Helsing vibes, and that is The Black Museum, The Ghost and the Lady. This is a hardback manga. It is in two parts. I bought this first one just to see how I liked it. I was a little disappointed when it came in and the cover was damaged, but it's a small amount of damage in my opinion, and hopefully I won't care to resell it anyways. Um, I would open it up and show you guys some art, but there is quite a bit of nudity in this, so I'm not going to do that. But I will most likely leave a review on my Instagram if you guys are curious about this. The next set of things that I have is actually some things that I am trying to pick up for a manga challenge that Laura from Laura A. Grace Author and I are hosting. Next month, we are doing a mermaid manga challenge. I will leave a link in the description below so that you guys can check it out. But these are some mermaid themes or summer beach ocean themed manga that I have found and picked up. 
So the first one is Mermaid Boys Volume 3. This is the last volume of Mermaid Boys before they went on hiatus. I have Volume 1. I will be picking up Volume 2, hopefully before May, but so far from what I've read, it's just a really cute mermaid series. So I'm excited about that. Next, I have Tropic of the Sea. This is a single volume manga that has mermaids in it. Um, I heard that this is kind of a darker series, which I don't mind at all. And I am excited to get into this. And of course, we can't do a mermaid themed challenge without Mermaid Saga. So I picked up the complete collection by Rumiko Takahashi. I love her classic art. I know that not a lot of people do, but I really do. And I'm super excited to read this series because this is one of hers that I have not read at all. So the next one that I have is not about mermaids, but I have heard that this main character is compared to a mermaid because of her blonde hair and blue eyes. This is Golden Japanesque, and it is by the same creator as Kare First Love. The art is really pretty, and I'm excited to read this and see how much mermaid-themed things are in this. The next one doesn't have any mermaids at all, but it is very beachy tropical vibes it is a tropical fish yearns for snow it is a yuri between these two high school girls that join the aquarium club and just their blooming romance and their love for these tropical fish and creatures super cute super excited to pick up more of this it's a very sweet yuri series Next, I have a graphic novel. This is The Magic Fish. It has mermaid themes in it. I don't know how much of this is actually about mermaids, um, but it just looked absolutely beautiful. I saw a few different people on Instagram picking this up and I had to pick it up myself just because one, I wanted to do this mermaid themed challenge, but also surprise, I love mermaids. So there is that. And the last thing I have from this haul is actually a movie. It is The Little Mermaid. This is a very old version of The Little Mermaid and it is all done with Japanese artists. I remember watching this when I was younger and absolutely loving it. So I'm really excited to have this in my collection. I love picking up things that bring me that childhood nostalgia. So that is it for my haul. These are all ordered in March, but obviously it is April now. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the things that I have been picking up and I would love to hear whether you guys are reading any of these or are interested in picking any of these up. Let me know if you guys are going to be participating in our mermaid manga challenge. I would love to see what you guys do and the mermaid manga that you guys have in your collection. I would love it if you guys left a like or a comment Subscribe if you want to see more of my content and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.